Kropa from Kimball, South Dakota. I would recommend uh, the First Dakota Young Farmer Program to the next group because I think the obvious answer is certainly the networking and then there's so much good that can come from the more people we know and the more diverse backgrounds they have that can help us further uh, our operations and also benefit the others as well. There's a couple positives I took from this. I think the first one that comes to mind, certainly the networking, the second one would be the opportunity to understand what other operators are doing and what they're thinking and their practices. Uh, our operation is cattle first, farming second program. There's young men and women here that are strictly row crop farmers, some that are certainly more heavy, heavily orientated in the ranching. And it's good to understand what they're doing and why they're doing it. And even if we can take one thing to apply to our operation or that wouldn't work at all for our operation, it's good to understand that as well. Um, and it's also good to talk to these guys like I said, to understand what they're doing, but it's so easy to become narrow-minded, narrow-minded, or narrow-vision might be a better way to say it, and we're just focused on our operation, when in reality we need to understand how our operation affects our county, our state, our country, and our world. Um, that's one major thing that I, it's opened my eyes quite a bit is that we need to think more in that worldly manner and, and as a whole and as a we need to operate in a manner that's good for all of agriculture. As they talk about that only two percent of Americans have it really have anything to do with uh, farming and agriculture and that more and more of the general population is removed from understanding what we're doing. Uh, there's very few of folks who live in metropolitan areas they grew up on a farm. Um, you know, more than likely their parents didn't, didn't even come from a farm. So there's a lot of infor misinformation out there by people with bigger budgets and uh, agendas that aren't pro-ag. I think it's very, very important that we, as young farmers and ranchers, we need to be proactive in the promotion of our industry. We can't look or wait for others to do it because they're not going to. It's not their job. Um, I think this has been a tremendous opportunity with First Dakota. I appreciate what the program provided and um, sense the opening of my eyes for those things.